Hey, how you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Game. Now, some of you may like this video and some of you may not like this video at all. The reason why is because I had a fellow um, who on YouTube decided he wanted to discredit my work. And usually I see people with different forms of screen paints and projection screens that they're designing. And I come in, I check it out, I think it's pretty cool. But don't basically come in and say to me on my channel that, hey look, uh, I have designed the exact same chemical you have and I'm actually, why have people pay for it when you can have it for free? Now I've seen his demonstrations, majority demonstrations are done in the dark. So, um, and some of the demonstrations, I'm really not seeing any kind of real, real, real 100% testing when it comes to his screens. You've seen my demonstrations. I do my demonstrations. I actually, when I first came out, I started doing my screens against 10 of the top projection screens on the market. Literally, I was going out and I was actually going out and uh, looking up online and I was finding all these companies that have the top um, surfaces on the market and challenging their screens. So I started taking out film screens and then there was uh, Supernova and Super, and it was uh, uh, Seymour AV and one, a, couple, one, a couple of names I can't mention due to the fact that there were court orders involved. But uh, yeah, that crazy. So anyway, um, I tested my screens against tons of light. I mean, everybody turns on ambient light in the house, but it wasn't enough for me. I started taking lamps and throwing them against the screen. I taped the bar light. As a matter of fact, I did the Ultra 4K black screen on a 48 lumen toy projector with the bar light taped on the, in the middle of the screen. I have actually taken my screens and actually laid them against the windows so the ambient light from the window could cascade on, on the screen. I've done it all. I've done all these tests. I've proved what my screens can do. i proved that you, if you want a superior screen, because there's a lot of people who spend a lot of money for their home theater. They spend money for the projector. It's an investment. They spend money for a lot of stuff. But when it comes to a superior surface, they know they have to pay for it. You know it's going to cost a lot of money. This is where my company come in, comes in. We can show them that, look, we tested this against the screen. We did the supernova. We did this. We did that. And this is the results of our screen. We have videos to back up what we can do. So. With that being said, you have customers thinking, hmm, all right, I can have a screen better than the Dark Star 9, and it won't even cost me $3,000. This is where we make our money because we can prove that our screens can do what they can do. For people that are sitting there saying, well, is your screen better than an HDTV? Boom, I have one right here. How much ambient light can your screen take in? I have a demonstration with about 600 watts of light hitting the screen. That's something you're not going to find in an average home. Someone has 600 watts of light hitting their screen. So we have done the insane demonstrations. These are screens weatherproof. Let's go outside. Let me show you what my screen looks like outside. I, my screens are acoustic. My screens are 3D. I have done pretty much all the tests that need to be done. I tested my screen against a bare silver screen. I have done it all. Just put it that way. I have. Now, um, with this particular fellow right here, it wouldn't have been so bad if he just basically just stayed to himself, but he didn't. He had, um, I guess, followers coming in on my channel, and somebody came in on one of my channels where I actually did the D4K Black. This is a screen paint that I actually did my first Jet Black uh, screen paint. And someone posts, hey, look, you can do this for free. It's, uh, someone has figured out how to make his mix. Yeah, okay. All right, let's move on. So anyway, throughout this entire nonsense, you know, uh, this particular fellow uh, kept going on and on and on about uh, how and his customers, his followers, I guess his I guess followers, were going on on by saying why pay for his screen when we, I can actually uh, do the same thing for free. So you thought. See here's the thing. When people look at a Dark Star 9 against a white wall, the Dark Star 9 looks amazing. But if you take the Dark Star 9 and you put it against a crystal wood screen, well it looks a little different. The screen turns black because the Dark Star 9 crystal edge is brighter. This is what I had to do to your screen because you challenged me. You gave me no choice. When you basically springboard off my product, I have no choice but to prove it to you that my surface is different from yours. So what I did was I made your chemical, which I got from a friend of mine who actually went on to your um, went on to your page or channel and did this. I did the three uh, tablespoons of black and got that lighter color right there. And just for kicks, I figured that when you did your dark screen, all you did was just add in more black paint. And you got this color right here. So I put that against the dark silver upstairs, which I have up on my screen. My big screen is the dark silver. To see a side-by-side -side comparison to your screen versus my screen. So what came up? Well, my screen basically can produce natural, pure, realistic colors 
and outstanding skin tones. This is why we're able to blow out a lot of the high-end screens on the market and not only that, even outperform an HDTV. Why? Because our screen is brighter. It's sharper, it's more vivid. And when you have a screen that has something called over contrast levels, over contrast levels, and a lot of people don't see this, is when you make a screen that the contrast levels are just too dark, they're not balanced well. There's a lot of science that goes in this. There's a lot of science that goes into making screen paint and taking three teaspoons of black and adding into some gray paint. There's a lot of science that goes behind this. You have to be to produce a screen that has good contrast level, but the contrast level cannot be oversaturated. Because when you oversaturate the contrast level, what happens is the screen gives off a kind of dingy, dirty color. Now, it might not look that way on your end when you hit it against your wall or your projector, but like I said, you're matching it against the wall only. You're painting that surface and it's just being hit with that surface only. But if you put another screen, a more superior screen, into the combination mix, you will see where your screen starts to fail. This is what we did with the Crystal Witch Technology screen. We put the screen against this mix to show you that, no, you're not getting the pure color that you're getting. You're getting a form of compressed, kind of like if you uh, do DVI to HDMI, you're not getting um, a full HD, you're getting compressed HD. All right, so you have people out there that are keen to this kind of stuff. They want a screen that is going to be perfect. Now, this is just a quick fix screen for you. This is something that works for you. Hats off to you. Enjoy. But for the people that I do business with, they want a superior surface to match their investment. All right, so as you say, this is the mix right here. So we're going to try it upstairs. I heard something fall. I think one of his samples, one of the, uh, one of the screens I painted with his sample and just fell off. Yeah, it did. It did. It's right down the floor. All right. So if you want, you can stare at this for a while. Sorry about that. I've got to put this back up. Enjoy the scenery. Listen to the fan. All right. This up here real quick. And I'm going to do hopefully this stays. Demonstration. Now it's supposed to be up working right now because I have orders came in last night that I have to my screen up. Let me grab this real quick. Trust me, I'm saving you a world of good by pointing the camera in another direction, and I'll tell you why. In the morning, I look like a nightmare. I do not want to see that in the morning. I mean, you guys are getting up and you're having breakfast. You want to really see this in the morning? I will mess you up. All right, here we go. I had a little humor today. Now, let's cover this over real quick. Can we get that covered over real quick? Okay, I'm just going to put my foot there because it's not going to hold. All right, so right there is the gray screen paint that you said you put three tablespoons of black in. And right there, uh, it's just a screen, this is a darker mix. I'm pretty sure I put a lot more in. Wow, this is just, the screens are just giving up on me left and right. So that's a darker mix that he made. Actually just added more black paint into it. And that's what I said, it's not, people think it's, it's so easy that all you would have to do, oh, this is coming out all together. All right, again, let me do this again. Let me get a piece of tape and just stare at the screen real quick. Hopefully my camera doesn't topple over. His screen, also too, another thing I noticed that his mix um, doesn't do well on certain surfaces, a certain surface, because it starts to peel off. So that's something else too I noticed that um, I'm painting this on a form of, um, of uh, plastic, and this is the results I'm getting on the plastic. It's actually peeling off, so sort of. it does peel off, to let you know. You know, depending on what you paint this on, it does peel. So that's the surface right there. letting you know right there it does peel all right so let's go right there it just doesn't take well I guess to this particular surface I mean it did take well to this surface right here but it just doesn't take well to that all right now we're back in the game again now like I said this is the surface that has the three teaspoons of black and this one basically just has a lot of black and I think that's how he got his darker surface right there all right so let's start this again And this is what I talk about by over saturation of contrast levels. 
because what happens is if you add if the contrast level is not well balanced it doesn't look real now look at it here this is the color of steel this is what steel is supposed to look like that's the color of steel all right now stand back here with me and look at that this is what I mean by over saturation of colors of course it looks fantastic when you have it against your wall but you're really not getting your projectors true performance we're talking about as in your projectors color wheel now your projectors ability to be able to give you pinpoint color you're not getting that from the screen now it may look amazing like I said against the wall but when you put it against a more superior surface this is what you're getting okay let's go back there it is. Now we're going to go back here a minute, just a little farther back, alright, shut the lights off, See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm explaining to you about. This is what you call over saturation of contrast levels. This is what you're getting. All right, so I'm gonna remove this real quick. All right, put it over here. Cause I know you guys are looking at it saying, that looks really good, that looks really fantastic. Well, like I said, it looks fantastic if you have it up against your white wall, but if you put it against a more superior surface, this is what you're getting. Now, over here, we have the Dark Star 9. Dark Star 9 has, um, let me see, Dark Star 9 has a 180 degree viewing angle, has 0 0.9 gain. This is a superior surface. This is what you sort of testing your screens against. You know what I mean? To see exactly how advanced your screen is. Now, there is uh, the darker version of the uh, Jamie Paint, and there is the Dark Star 9. See what I'm looking at here? All right. Go back a little bit here. You see it for yourself. more science that goes into it when you're designing a screen paint a lot of science and this proves it right here look at this I'm gonna go over here on an angle so now you're seeing my screen on an angle like I said it may look fantastic when you got it against your white wall when you put it against another superior surface this is what you want to get this is what they mean by Excuse me for walking front of the screen real quick. This is what you call oversaturation of contrast levels. We're doing this on a 3000 lumen projector. 
short throw. Okay, guys. Well, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Age Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hmm. Well, back to.